Welcome, my name is Ray Riggle Yozo, and I am the founder of Gay Men of Wisdom. It is Thursday, April 17th, 2014, and this is a recap from the discussion group that we had earlier this week on Monday, April 14th. Our topic was gay men as sexual leaders. So I'm going to take a slightly different uh, tack on this recap video. Rather than going note by note, I'm going to instead provide some thoughts and some some uh, over an overview of what we covered because I've actually had a couple of days to think about it and so this is this is different. Um, I did open the call with a question about how has gay men's sexual liberation served a leadership function for humanity and one of the first topics that came, answers that came up was that culturally we bring up the issue of sex as pleasure, as sex having no specific purpose, and that there's something very important in that. And what's interesting is that some callers reported that they're seeing younger heterosexuals adopting some of the more sexual styles of gay men, for better or worse, as we talked about. Um, so what's really interesting is that this whole question of sexual liberation has a, there, there is freedom and then there is also the, the trap. It can be, the, the freedom and the prison can be sort of also alternate sides of the same coin and it can be easy to slip into one or the other without being fully conscious that we're doing it. So we talked about how gay men have this culture celebrating sex and then members, men on the call to also expressed dissatisfaction with sex for sex's sake, that that can be really easy, but that there can also be something underneath it that we are seeking to attain, whether we're doing so consciously or unconsciously. And often that can be the need for intimacy. So as we evolve our understanding of sexual liberation, we're actually expanding the definition of what liberation even means. So perhaps in the 1970s, it might have meant one thing. And there was a, a man that I met at the Leslie Lohman Museum a couple of years ago who talked about the, uh, the peers in New York City, how we talked about, it was all about having the freedom to have sex. That was gay liberation in the 1970s. And whereas that is a component and part of our culture, it is not the only way that we choose to or desire to have sex. And so we began to talk about some of the other questioning and the movements in the gay community to explore what sex might mean in a more richer, meaningful context. So for instance, one man had suggested, he said, well, I'm, I'm not, I don't hear from heterosexual circles, people asking the question of, well, can masturbation be a form of prayer? Can ejaculation allow us to connect with God? These are ideas that gay men are exploring. And what, what really was interesting to me is that as, as sexual leaders, the, I asked the question, what is a sexual leader? What, is it, what does it require? And there are three things that I heard. One was really acceptance of ourself. Second is awareness of what we want, really being holding ourselves accountable and responsible for knowing and then going after what we want. Because when we we're not aware, we're not fully conscious of what we're doing and why we're even having sex. And the third is being out, because that's the precursor for really being fully aware. So, so it's very interesting. And I, I heard a lot of dissatisfaction with, uh, with sex among men, that there, uh, is a, as members uh, on the call, stated that they've experienced a lot of dissatisfaction with only being able to meet on one level sexually and not being able to go deeper. But what's interesting is that whereas gay men might not have all the answers and might not have solved the whole uh, puzzle around um, our relationship to sex, we are engaged in the exploration. We are approaching it honestly, forthrightly, and really modeling for the world what it is like to embrace sexuality without shame. So whereas we might not have all the answers, we're engaged in the process of asking. And that is really at the core of sexual leadership. So those are just some ideas and some 
thoughts and observations from our discussion group Monday, April 14th, 2014. Again, my name is Ray Rigoglioso, founder of Gay Men of Wisdom. Thank you for being with me.